The Ministry of Education is our collaborative partner and they also have similar programs that has been complementing this one as well, which is their school feeding program. Um, that is also a program that, that complements what we're doing. So those schools that are a part of the Healthy Start program, they don't, they're not allowed to sell sodas or sweetened drinks um, to the students or even serve that um, within these, the campuses. Also, I know that they have a campaign as well that helps us to, to emphasize what we are trying to work along with the schools to do. So with all of us working together on the same objectives, we find that we're getting very good support with it. Um, what I think has been very effective is doing the education sessions and the campaigns within the schools, working along with the children or the students themselves. Um, we want to empower them to make that decision. I know ideally you would want to just make a law and say, take them all out of schools and there is no sort of sweetened beverages. That would be easy to do, but it is a process to get that done. And I think the process that we're working on is the sensitization of this, um, this message, this initiative. And there are many areas that we try to complement. So we don't want to look at we're coming down hard to just say, get this sweet and drinks out, but we want to talk about and educate the teachers and the school school community and even the parents. The parents play a very big role in this as well. Why is it that the sugar drinks are not good for you? What is something healthier that we can use? Because you will hear about the cost, you will hear about all of this. So we're highlighting a lot of drinking water. And that ties in also with our Beat the Heat campaign. It's so hot um, these days and everything. So we're highlighting, let's get more water into the schools. Let's minimize the sale of the sweetened drinks and have more water.